Today, we are setting up a 12 volt solar power station. Here we have a 1.6 kilowatt hybrid inverter. It is a 12 volt inverter. Here we have 1.2 kilowatt hour lithium battery and the nominal voltage is 12.8 uh, volts. Now to do the connection, we'll have to open this inverter so that we can access the battery terminals and the PV terminals, also the AC input and output terminals. So these are the battery terminals, the positive and the negative. This is the positive, the negative. Then this one for AC terminals, AC uh, input and AC output. This input, if you want to charge with grid or generator, that's NEPA or generator. Then we also have the PV input terminals, PV positive and PV negative. So before setting up this inverter, you have to connect your um, battery cable first on the inverter before connecting them to the battery. Now for this inverter, we are using a uh, 16 mm cable because the current I want to draw from this battery or the current I want to use in charging this battery, the maximum current is 50 amps. I need a cable that can handle a uh, maximum current of 50 amps. So this will go to the battery. You can see that they are well crimped. These are the uh, cable locks. You can use this manual crimper to crimp use the right uh, size uh, of dice. We also need a breaker for the battery. Between the battery and the inverter, we need a breaker. Then this one is for PV input. That's the solar panels, from the solar panels to the inverter. So let's do the connection. All right. We'll connect them to our breaker. So we have our battery positive and our battery negative. So we are not going to turn on the inverter first. We are going to connect the PV uh, to the inverter. That's the solar panels to the inverter. So here we have two units of 590 watt solar panels. They are connected in series. To give us high voltage because the, high, the inverter is a hybrid inverter and the maximum PV input voltage is 500 volts. So that is why we are connecting them in series, not in parallel. So when we connect in series, we don't need uh, large uh, cables to connect from the solar panels to the inverter. So we are going to use MC4 connectors to connect the male and the female so that we can correctly connect our solar panels to the inverter. All right, so this is our PV breaker from solar panels to the inverter. We have the positive and the negative. Then they are connected to the hybrid inverter, positive and negative. So we are going to switch on the inverter. Inverter is on. I will switch on the PV breaker. This is the solar panel side. Wait for it to peak. It's charging now. And press this button. The voltage from the solar panels is 91 volts. All right, you can see the battery is charging. Now, after turning on the inverter, you need to impute your settings. The cutoff voltage for this one, I will set it to 12 volts. Then the maximum charging current is 50 amps. And the maximum charging voltage is 14.4 volts. This is a 12 volt uh, system. 
and the battery is 12.8 uh, volts. Now let's look at the AC side. Let's see the voltage from the AC side. This is 227 volts. You can now connect this to your load or to your house to power your basic home appliances like um, your refrigerator during the day you can power your small refrigerator or freezer then at night you power you turn off the refrigerator by maybe 4 pm then at night you power your tv your lighting points charging of phone and your laptop this inverter is 1.6 kilowatts uh inverter the idle power consumption is a bit high so for me if you want to connect it to a 12 volt uh, battery i prefer you use 200 amp hours or uh, 300 amp hours if you use this 100 amp hours at night the battery may run down fast because of the inverter's idle power consumption but if you use a higher capacity you will not feel it that much so this is how to set up your uh, 12 volt power station uh, connecting it to your uh, lithium battery you need breakers for protection to protect your cables and uh, also you have to connect these cables first to the inverter that's the battery cables you connect them to the inverter before connecting them to your battery the solar panels are generating 500 and 29 watts to 530 watts let's see what's us uh, entering the battery this is 33 amps then 452 watts is going to the battery that's what the inverter is using to charge the battery so during the day if you connect loads to this inverter and those loads are higher than this 450 or 500 watts the inverter will use this energy from the power generated by the solar panels to power those loads and nothing will go to your battery so at night you will not have backup your system will shut down so thank you for watching and see you in my next video